it's typically digital humanities because it's something that is not mathematical, not numerical in the first place. And you have to find a way to encode it in a vectorial space. The course tries to give a bit of introduction to music theory to be sure that everyone has at least a bit of knowledge about it. I didn't have any musical background when I took this course. I think it was easier for me when uh, there were people who already had musical background and who could help me with things I didn't understand. The core part of the course is about learning how to encode music. Uh, the most interesting part for me was reading and discussing scientific papers because it was something completely new for me. It's typically digital humanities because it's something that is not mathematical, not numerical in the first place and you have to find a way to encode it in a vectorial space. A lot of music theory, theoretical concepts like what is a melody, how to create a melody. So it was really about this music encoding because you can just encode like the basic notes, but you can also encode the harmony with encoding the intervals that a certain piece has. As well, I learned a lot about um, the importance of music and research on music in psychology. It's also really good to then learn to how to extract the structure because music is often about structure and this is one of the things that data science do the best is identifying structures. I really enjoyed the course as an opportunity to learn uh, a lot of new information about music. The paper review, mine was about Irish traditional music and a device that was recording like traditional tunes in uh, one pub in Ireland for a long period of time. So the project was about, we had some classical music pieces from Bach, Mozart and Beethoven, which are the three main classical composers. And then transmitting the tunes that it recognized to the special website. And in the first place we had to try to identify the rhythmic structure of the pieces uh, and without the score, just the list of the notes. And so the computer had to guess what metric it was. The paper was basically about the reactions of musicians to this device and to the idea in general. And so we had to first decide what we as human estimate that is a, a similarity between two pieces of music and then tell to the computer so with that criteria what are the similar pieces and what are the most distant pieces. So it was really interesting to dive into this research and think about ethnomusicology in general and uh, homogenization in uh, traditional music. Mm -hmm. 